guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's PCT product demo. I'm going to show you how you can use a tote hanger, which is a purse hanger, for a storage tool in your polymer clay studio. And it's specifically in a closet. Now, I'm standing in a different location than I normally am. Uh, my daughter has moved out, and I'm going to be taking her old bedroom and turning it into a new studio. So over the next while, probably will take me a year, by the time I'm done, I'm going to be changing over the um, the rooms and, and doing quite a few things. But one of the things I need to do is start thinking about how I'm going to store things in the closet. Now, a lot of you have like a closet area where you store your craft supplies. And I wanted you to think a little bit differently about what type of things you can use for storage items. So um, not too long ago, we did a video where I used a, an acrylic cosmetic organizer to store glitters and um, Perlux powders and that kind of thing in. So I'm really trying to get you to think a little bit outside of the box as where types of things that you use. Anyways, I wanted to show you how you could use a purse hanger and this one is called a tote hanger um, to store some other um, things in your craft room. Now, here is how the, the tote hanger works. Now this was actually designed by a New York handbag designer by the name of Jackie Eastlick and she designed them for hanging purses and totes and things in your closet. Now they're very simple, they're very well made um, and the way they work is you've got a hook like this and this is the top part that will hang over any size curtain rod I mean, not curtain rod, uh, closet rod or clothes rod. And and you can see it, it will take the large ones and then I've got just a small one in my, um, my particular closet uh, organizer. And then the hook is designed to come at a 90 degree angle and then hold your the handles of your purse or tote. Now it's nice and wide, it's super sturdy and strong and then all of your purses and stuff can hold, um, lay, in a way that doesn't use up a lot of closet space and you can see what you've got. Well, I was thinking that these hooks um, would also work really well for some of the things in your studio. So I've got a few different kind of random ideas. I may, when I go to set up my closet, I may put different types of items on my hooks, but I want to show you as many alternatives as possible so that um, it may spark some ideas for you. Okay, so here's the first thing that I thought of doing for these hooks and this is just a whole bunch of polymer clay necklaces sometimes you've got really long necklaces that if you put them in a drawer they'll get all bundled up and knotted together and so hanging them is great but you don't always have a place to hang them so these little hooks work perfect for that and you can take your necklaces on and off this particular one is a long lariat necklace from the um, uh, crocus bead lariat tutorial that I've done a long time ago and I've got lots of different um, necklaces for, from the different tutorials here and I thought this was a really neat way of um, getting a lot of necklaces out of the way. I think there's about 15 on there. You could probably even put a few more and still be quite efficient. Here is another group of kind of random items that would be in a craft room. Um, this one it holds a whole bunch of different items like I've got an, the new fuse tool is on here. Um, I've got a jelly plate for doing jelly prints on, a chalkboard magnet, uh, what else? Oh, some silk screens, a bunch of Martha Stewart type stuff here. I've got some stickers and some scrapbooking supplies. And you can see that it holds quite a few items. I'll just set these out of the way. And it'll hold quite a bit of weight. So you could put all kinds of different things on there. Here's another um, idea here that has got some kind of unusual things that you would have in the craft room that might be kind of hard to store. Now I've got large flat items that, um, especially these floppy ones, if they're, when you go to put them somewhere, they'll slide underneath, you put them on the shelf, they, they flop over. So they're kind of tricky to store. So I just hung a bunch of different random items, some of my punched holes in. Um, here is a, uh, like a T ruler, or I mean not a T ruler, a triangle ruler. I've got uh, different kinds of ruler here, um, a bead board, some paper. Uh, also I've got some 
large plastic uh, sheets that I use to protect my surface sometimes if I'm painting. And I also have a um, one of those, oh, what is it called? It's a cutting mat, but it's self-healing. <laughs> That's the word I want. So if you have a lot of cutting mats and that kind of thing, it would hold a lot in a very, very small area. So that's a neat idea. And lastly, here's a little idea for just hanging a bunch of extension cords. Um, I use them in the studio all the time. We've got different lighting and things, and sometimes they're in the way, but you want to be able to, um, you want access to them and so this will hide them in a nice little uh, spot in the closet. Now there are tons of other things that, in the craft room that you could hang on here. Ribbons, cords, um, uh, maybe clipped fabric, I don't know, all kinds of things. But hopefully that will give you some neat ideas for thinking outside the box as far as storage for your um, studio. Now I got these. Um, you can get these yourself at um, totehanger.com or also they have them at the container store. They're not very expensive. Um, this little package of six hooks was $10, which means they're about $1.70 each. And for the quality and um, just how nice and efficient they are and how well they work, they are a great deal. So I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, do let us know if you like this video. And if you have a product or a technique or something that you would like to learn more about, but you have, you've looked through all of our videos and you haven't found what you need yet, then make sure to leave a suggestion in the comment section below and we'll see if we can make a video for you. All right, so we'll see you next time and bye for now.